In our last video, we showed you how to create your own report using the Layout Generator. In that video, we selected one of the predefined row sets provided with Sage 100 ERP 2015 Intelligence Reporting. With the new Layout Generator, row sets are the way that you define the groups of rows that you would like to see in your layouts. In this video, we'll show you how you can create your own. Row sets give you a lot of flexibility in that you can create rows based on standard account groupings like account categories or account types, as well as create custom groupings using account ranges, wildcards, and mathematical functions. The rows that you create and select when building a layout will directly translate to the rows that you see in your report when the layout is generated. Row sets are also centrally stored and managed in the layout generator, so you can use them across other layouts of the same type. The row sets that are provided out of the box in Intelligence Reporting are Income Statement, Balance Sheet, Non-Financial, and Account Category. And these are all based on account categories. So let's create a new Income Statement row set that will group our rows based on account type. To do this, you'll need to run out a copy of the Financial Report Designer from the Report Manager, as I've already done. You'll also need to know what your account types are. If you're not sure, then here's a good tip for you. Open a new worksheet in the Report Designer and drag the Account Types list onto the worksheet. We're only interested in the Income Statement account types, which range from 11 to 18. So make a note of them because we'll use these values in our row set. To create a row set, you need to open the Layout Generator. We don't want to create a new layout, so let's open one of the existing layouts. You can open an existing layout by either clicking the Manage button in the Layouts tab, or by going to BI Tools on the ribbon and using the Quick Edit menu. I'm going to select an income statement from the Quick Edit menu. The Layout Generator will open with the layout loaded. At the top of the Layout Generator are two tabs, Layout Design and Row Sets. Click on the Row Sets tab. The tab will open with the existing sets shown, and here is where you can add, edit, rename, copy, and delete your row sets. Click the Add button to create a new row set. Enter a name for it in the dialog that appears and click OK. A new screen will be shown, and at the top of the screen is the area where you'll enter your rows for the row set. Below that is a preview of the accounts that are returned for each row in the row set. And to the right are the options to insert a new row, clear a row, and save your row set. Let's start by entering our first row. I'm going to display the list of account types to remind us what needs to be entered. Click on the Description field for the first row and enter Net Sales. Then, click on the Type drop-down and select Account Type. You will see that Intelligence Reporting allows you to create rows based on accounts, account groups, account types, account categories, and roll-up codes. Now, click on the Rule field and enter the value 11. Once you enter a value for the rule, you'll notice immediately that the preview shows the accounts that will be returned for that rule. It's good to check the preview to make sure that you've entered the correct rule for the accounts that you want to return. To enter a new row, you can either press Enter on your keyboard or use the Insert option to the right of the window. Press Enter to add a new row. You can now create the rows for the rest of the account types the same way that you've done for the first. Let's go ahead and enter all the information. Just to let you know, you can also use the Tab and Shift Tab keys, as well as the directional keys on your keyboard to move between the fields and rows of your row set. Once you've finished creating your rows, click on Save to the right to save your row set. You'll now see your row set listed with the other row sets for the report. You can close the layout generator at this point, but just to remind you, if you'd like to use your row set, then with your layout open and layout design selected, click on the rows tab. Next, click on the magnifying glass next to select row set. 
If a row set is already being used, then you will be asked if you want to replace it. Click OK. You will see your new row set listed among the available row sets. Click on it to select it. You will now see account type rows that you've defined added to the account rows area, and these are now ready to be used in your layout. You can switch the sign of the revenue rows as they are stored as negative values in the ERP. Remember that if you'd like your row set to be available the next time you run out the copy of the Report Designer, you'll need to save the template back to the report in the Report Manager. To view other videos in this series, go to youtube.com forward slash sageintelligence. Also, connect with us at sageintelligence.com and sageintelligencecommunity.com, or you can view our online courses at sageintelligenceacademy.com. Just to let you know, we love feedback, so if you found this video useful, please like it and share it on your social media channels.